All right, y'all. Henry. I've been wanting a Henry for a long time on sale at Bass Pro during Christmas, so decided to pick one up. Hunting with a Henry. Want to get a collection of Henrys going. Made in America, not at all. This is the H001 22LR. It all starts with one. Let's take it out of the plastic and get a closer look. So nice walnut. This is blue, even though it looks black. I've got a small lever handle with the trigger, and then we got some sights, and then the hooded sight up here in the front. Really, really excited for this one. So let's take it out and let's shoot it. 22 long, short, LR. Like I said, it's got a hooded sight up front. We got this here. It's got a rail that you can add a an optic walnut finishes and it's got a butt pad uh, the loading chamber the loading tube it's got a brass push down bar whatever you call that officially um, you can load them in here it's also an indicator for how the rounds are supposed to go so that you don't load anything incorrectly when you're done loading use this uh, push whatever the heck it's called. And it's got a little notch and it just seats right in there. So lever action, let's take our first shot. It's like virtually no recoil. Ooh, I missed. Ooh, I missed again. I think that's it. Yeah, that didn't feel like anything went in there. Oh man, this is awesome. Virtually no recoil. Um, the hooded sight is okay. It's a little tough to see I'll try and it's not bad but I think ultimately I'd like to have an optic on here but I think I'd keep it like it is for uh, nostalgia because this is what this is what hunting was back in the day they were lever actions and this is how it was you used iron sights so let's load up another tube and uh, shoot some paper about 25 yards we're uh, we're gonna go for the head One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So, not bad. Twenty-five yards. Uh, irons. One, two, three, four, five. Five out of the box. So, sixty-six percent. Not bad. Not bad for the first time. So far, I've put some Aguila thirty-eight grain hollow points, and I've put some Winchester. Uh, X through here, just the mini mags, and then now we've got some Winchester uh, silver tips. So, forgot about the liver action there.
Six for six. I don't know if you saw that, but I just went six for six. Let's go see if uh, it actually was six for six. Oh, I'm excited. I did this already with the nine millimeter, but uh, like that is definitely a 22 shot right there. And I think, I think I went six for six, but let's, let's try it again. All right, we're back at the house and I put probably about 200 rounds through this overall between uh, myself and my range partner. Um, beautiful weapon and just such a joy to shoot. Uh, virtually no recoil and very, very accurate with the rear sight and the front sight post, the hooded sight post. I'm not 100% on the hooded sight post, but it's pretty good. I guess it keeps some of the glare out. I'm not really sure, but like when I have it on a darker background, it is kind of tough to pick up the sight post, but that is neither here nor there. But uh, 18 and a quarter inch barrel, overall weight is five and a quarter pounds. Uh, I said that it was blue, but it looked black. Well, that's because it is black. The blue is on a different model. Uh, the rubber stock, the rubber butt pad is very hard rubber, and um, but since there's no recoil, it doesn't it doesn't really feel like anything. Um, already got a couple of nicks in that, but that's okay because I'm gonna shoot it. I don't have safe queens, and um, it's gonna gonna show marks. It's gonna show its use, and uh, use is what it's gonna get. Um, one thing that I didn't know when I was out there was, uh, so this is unloaded. When you uh, pull the trigger, the hammer goes forward obviously, but when you pull the trigger, or when you pull the hammer back quarter, it goes into safe mode. And uh, I didn't know that initially, so that's, that's a good thing to know. So, uh, overall this is a really, really nice Nice weapon. Um, now, Such, when he did his review, said that having the small um, lever is a little small. I mean, I got bigger hands, and uh, if I was wearing gloves with this, I don't think I'd be able to get three fingers in there. And uh, so, but I live in Florida, so I don't have to worry about shooting with gloves, especially a 22. So, overall, this is a great, great firearm. I know I said that I might put an optic on here. Definitely not. I'm keeping this as is. This is going to be a uh, family heirloom from going forward. I'll pass this down eventually. But uh, really, really nice weapon. So the only thing I don't like, and being that it's a lever action, it's a little different than a 20, you know, a regular semi-automatic, is when you do do this brass push down tube, your hands do get really close to the muzzle. And that is pretty much the only thing that I don't like. Um, with the higher caliber offerings that they have, they do have the side gate, but for a 22, they just can't do it. So that is probably the only thing that I don't like is getting your hands so close to the muzzle. So that's gonna do it. The uh, Henry H001, fantastic, fantastic firearm. I love it. I'm looking forward to getting a collection of Henry's going. Gonna go 17 HMR and 22 Win Mag or 22 mag next, and then start jumping up into the big boy calibers. So like and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video.